I just got interrupted by a text message. And so, I stop, and I have to tell you now that because the text message came in, it didn't save the video that I made, which showed the Harley Benton in its original state. So the text message just killed everything. And I didn't notice it until I went to do the editing. So we don't have the original video. I was rambling on about Harley Benton and how sometimes you can have a great guitar and sometimes you can get one that's very dodgy. But overall, they were pretty good. This guitar was £95 brand new. You can still get it for £95 brand new. I suppose I'll just get on with the rest of this and stop yammering on. Uh, we'll see how everything goes. We're going to have a good look inside as well. But for £95, you can't beat it, really, you know. One of the things I do hate is they're made in Japan, Indonesia, and other places like that there. But one of the things I do hate is when they stick names like Harley and Benton on it to make it sound like it was either British or American made guitar. Harley Street, George Benton, you know, that type of thing. But it's a marketing ploy. And a lot of Japanese, sorry, not so much the Japanese, but a lot of Chinese companies are called like Fifth Avenue and all that sort of thing, you know. But they're better than being, one of the guitars I had was called Plum Rose. <laughs> well, okay, use the Americanized name or the thing. Anyway, we're going to have a look at this here. It's going to be a fairly short video, I hope, because there's not much to do in it. This is the ginger boy that's keeping Georgie girl away from from the guitars. Look, she doesn't he's he's a lovely little cat. He's called Shrimpy, aren't you? And you like attention, but you're keeping Georgie girl. Oh, she he wants cuddles now. What is this? He wants cuddles for goodness sake. But he doesn't. He likes cuddles, but he likes cuddles for two seconds in a way again. You know, he's not a. Uh, stay up there like Georgia Girl would be. Okay, so this needs new strings, it needs cleaned up, it needs set. It doesn't need much done with the frets, but I'm going to test the frets and test everything. Ginger boy, ginger, you know, right, okay. I know, you just, this, this is Shrimpy. His real name's Oliver, but he likes to get in the. Sh he, now he's going to push the camera. Right, I wonder if he's going to like it when I cut these strings off. Something here catching as well. The uh, I love the sound twelve string makes. I think I said this in another video. This is about the cheapest twelve string you could possibly buy in the market, and the sounds great. That flew off. Oh, I got that one. The sounds great. Unfortunately, if you go to the Harley Benton site and you listen to the guy who's demoing the twelve string. He's got this lovely smile on his face, but he's struggling, he's struggling with that smile the whole way through. You can see it telling people how it's it's made of mahogany and spruce and all that. But if you look at you're sort of thinking to yourself, he's, uh, he's struggling to be really positive. Now, I don't know why not, because this is not a bad guitar for the price, it's brilliant. But maybe he's just had a long day and he's tired of smiling about guitars. <laughs> but I suspect he says we at Harley Benton, so he's obviously employed by Harley Benton. And I think I think I saw one image of somebody famous playing a Harley Benton, but it wasn't famous that I would know them. It was famous. Well, they was on stage playing a Harley Benton, so I presume he's famous or well-known or something like that. But uh, it's, if it works, it works. Come on, why are you not coming out? I bet I know why, because you haven't been cut properly underneath. But let's have a look and see. Right. 
go in there before I lose you, before the cats get you. Right in there. Shall we have a look inside? I'll check the neck first. And we'll check the electrics. The neck is... Oh, we have a, a rock and rolly neck. Quite a rock and rolly neck. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to touch that until I put the other new strings on, the brand new strings, to see if it's deliberately raised like that. When the 12 strings go down, maybe it'll push it. So I'll not touch that. I'll have a very quick check of a few frets. But it's not good to do a fret leveling check on a guitar that's bent like that because you're not getting a true... This is just a quick check. Mm, they seem okay. We'll see later on when I do a proper check on it. And we're going to look at the electrics, aren't we? If it's got a battery. If it hasn't got a battery, we're not going to look at the electrics. Hasn't got a battery. So we'll look at the electrics later. We're going to go inside now. So let's go inside. Video time. Ooh. And it didn't switch on the, the flash. Let me put it inside first. That's better. Let's look. Yes, I can see why. You can see why the strings were hard pressed to come out. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of the top. Quite thin struts, but the mahogany I read up about it, it's so the mahogany sides it's not bad mahogany it says it's endangered on one side and then on another side it says it's not endangered very popular mahogany so who do you who do you believe anyway all hardwood is sort of endangered if it's in a uncontrolled situation let's have a look at the struts again closer up let me just press the top a bit all right okay Nothing exciting to see there except for that ripped away. So it's all in pretty good condition. The struts are on the bottom are fine too. Just look at the purling on the bottom. Or purving or purving. And that strut is fine too. So there's nothing dramatically. Oh, what does that say? Does that say something that I can make sense of? I can't see it now, but I'll look at it from inside. Okay, come on out. I'm going to switch off now. I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to look closely at the neck, and I'll test the electrics. Baby, a, a sighting of the lesser spotted Georgie girl. The lesser spotted Georgie girl wants a hug. So I can do that and give you a hug while I'm cleaning the tuners. And you can have a cuddle. This is rare. This is rare to see you nowadays because he's staying. When he's staying, I get ignored. And he's staying for six weeks, so I'm going to be ignored for six weeks. Oh, I'm getting kisses now because I'm complaining. Am I? Right, okay. What I, all I've done is put a little drop of lemon oil on that and done everything with it because the lemon oil doesn't do any harm because it's mineral oil and now she's up on my shoulder and she's up on my shoulder because I have some LED lights in the ceiling oh and she's down again right so what I've done which is a reverse of what I normally do I've lemon oiled that neck but now I'm going to uh, give it a polish usually I put the lemon oil afterwards but I'm going to give it a polish first. I'm not going to do that on camera. That's it. I've cleaned it. I've oiled it. It's just sort of settling in now, the oil all around. I did it again twice. That's the scraps of wood that came from underneath where the pegs go. Uh, it, it comes about by just being speed. Instead of putting something below it, to do it gently or a really, really sharp drill bit. But... And, and the wood probably is cheap too don't know what it is spruce top don't forget they didn't set a spruce all through so 
you just don't know what's beneath the surface. Okay, going to put the strings on. Going to do everything about or it's about face, as they say. Put the strings on. Then I'm going to check the neck when the strings are on, and check the fret leveling when the strings are on. So, oh, I have to check the, the these because some of these are loose. I'll just do that on camera, just in case there's any delay on it. Just do one on camera, the loosest one. couple here loose but that one there seems to be the most loose and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure is it loose oh it's loose from this sort of thing which is which is handy oh I like it oh I like it it was just loose that way all right okay I'm a happy puppy maybe I should just go through them and tighten them a little bit better now for that so right strings on and then I'll come back to you when we're looking at the neck again okay that's the strings in tune have a listen <laughs> well they're up the tension they've only been tuned once so now I'm going to look to see about that neck to see if it's still still is yeah it's still rocking so I'm gonna loosen that loosen that load trying to roughen my road I'm gonna do it with the strings on isn't that awful awful of me to do it with the strings on if I was tightening it that would be a different matter hmm right tight. Let's not take it out yet, let's just have a look and see. Yeah, still a bit more to go. I'm going to listen one more time too. That Rackley guitar. Okay, let's have a look and see. Perfectly straight. Wonder why they had it so tight. Maybe they wanted this end down or something, I don't know. But that and legs perfectly straight. Let me just do another double check. It's up in tune at the moment, don't forget. Yeah. I wish you could see it with me. I've tried a few ways to let you see, but that's perfectly straight now, which I'm pleased about because that means you don't have a lot of work to do on this guitar except for now tune it up and let you hear me playing it with my dulcet tones, my, my Jimi Hendrix fingers. No, Jimi Hendrix now, not when he was alive. I'm playing my favorite chords. Not my favorite song, but my favorite chords. On a Harley Benton, Electroacoustics. And it was given to me. And I was surprised to see it given to me. Because I'm sitting on a stool that was given to me by the same client and I have my foot resting on a special guitar footrest that was given to me by the same client so he didn't need to give me anything because he gives me a lot of nice guitars to play with but this is a beautiful guitar and I'm going to give this away to a CC and they should be able to get some money for the animals Anyway, that's it with electrics, and I 
really do like this guitar. Mind you, there's not very many guitars that I don't like, but I really do like this guitar, and it's a Harley Benton. And you can buy these brand new for £95 today if you go on to the site. I don't know, maybe there's £30 or £40 for delivery. I don't know. I can't tell. But it's a beautiful guitar, and I'm going to donate it to CC Animal Sanctuary. What's that there? I must look at the... Oh, that's a nice bit of hair. I thought it was a scratch. I'm going, to I'm going to cry there. Anyway, thank you very much, Mr. Floyd. <laughs> there we go. It's away now. Bye-bye. Going to a new owner somewhere.